Hello, my beautiful Cancerians! Welcome to one of our special readings. It's quite incredible how many requests, messages received related specially for this specific reading. Your future self has a message or has a few important messages for yourself. A future self, when we're speaking, could be a year from now, five or even ten years from now. Let's see, loves, what are those messages and how we're going to take them or how we're going to embrace them. Of course, it's a general energy that might either resonate with you. There might be here and there a message. So let's see. Cancerian, what your future self wants to say? Sometimes could be certain heads ups, sometimes could be certain advices. And we have a hermit underneath. What I am hearing from your future self is many, many Cancerians. You you used to look at life in a certain way for a very, very long time. And there is a major shift the way you see it, the way you embrace it, the way you live it, even enjoy it. For many, many Cancerians, you... You kind of felt alone, even though many people could be around you. And you could never understood why. Many of you probably wanted to live a more meaningful life because you are not a superficial individual. And Many of you, you really want to be understood. What your future self is telling you, people will understand, or those around you will understand, only what they can see, pursue, of you, of life, of what's around them. And you to find yourself or find true meaning or find a deeper meaning you might you might not find in this life because we always we found our community our tribes and <clears throat> for many many cancerians you are gonna find your own tribe was not easy your future self is telling you it will not be easy. Especially those Cancerians who, who look for their ways in the world. Because the hermit is kind of searching their own meaning on a deeper level. And in a world with a lot of superficials or superficiality, it's quite hard to get it there but it's not impossible we have the death energy a lot of things are gonna change for you darlings for some of you you're gonna find yourself at the crossroads the future self that speaks to you could be from two years from now. Okay? Five of Cups and Nine of Swords and Nine of Wands, Seven of Pentacles and Eight of Wands, which definitely is telling you that. Nobody is going to be like you. And deep down, nobody will understand you but you and the divine. 
why I feel here somebody <clears throat> try to live in community or with it's kind of like uh, Kazarian wants more friends or more people but you end up to to be by yourself for some of you, you try you you could be an introverted here but you naturally feel like you are not an introvert there's something here about the people you could be surround before and what i'm feeling here the things are about to change as your future self is telling you this time of solitude or keeping yourself in kind of isolation is gonna end eight of wands because there is movement there is movement towards healing okay and there's a new path. I also see here, for some of you, your future self is telling you whatever you've been through was a major lesson that's ending. Number nines, including the death, that's ending. If you still doubt here, don't. You are alone. The Cancer I'm speaking here, I don't see you with anyone around or in a couple of some sort. But I see you living a different life or you are about to go forward to have a different life or to enjoy a different life. Because your future self is telling you whatever you are right now, two years, two years and a half from now, you are not going to be in that energy. It's kind of you are going to go out more. If you used to tell yourself, well, why I should go out, out because I don't have no one, you are going to go just, just be there. And that will bring you movement. It's kind of the vibration you are leaving you are not going to live in that any longer. Okay. For those of you who waited for the one, you are not going to wait any longer. But more likely will do you. And who comes along, let it be. You are welcome for me to know you more. The wheel, the universe intervention, it's here to help you. Two of Wands, the star. It's like you are not going to wait any longer for the things to, to come to you. You are going to go and get them. If you want someone to invite you outside, you are going to invite yourself to go outside. It's like you are going to start whatever it's starting with you. Queen of Pentacles. It's kind of like the, the way you put your life, or you used to put your life, you are going to switch that. Because I feel here, for some of you, it's kind of, you are going to change, but inclusive what you do for life or for work. It's like if you've been a lot of indoors, you are going to switch to be outdoors more. A lot of travel for some of you, a lot of movement. It's like your lifestyle is going to change. Your body inclusive, your physical body is going to change. Because it's kind of from, uh, from a sedentary life to a very active life. For some of you, definitely your your physical appearance is going to change. And for some of you, you might be at some age and you feel like you are much older than you're supposed to look like. And your future self is telling you, once you start doing these changes, you will look way younger. 
It's not like you do some procedure medically or anything like that. But I feel here that the lifestyle change, inclusive movement, food, activities, is like for some of you, you are will be on the go a lot. Your future self is telling you, if you now stay home and feel like I don't want to see anyone, you are going to be in nature so much that you could never be even in your in your teenager years or even your 20s. So whoever I'm speaking here, you you are definitely are changing. It's kind of getting closer to the nature or being nature more, shifting your vibes out there. And I also see here a, a given energy. For some of you, you are instead of giving your energy to to your dark thoughts or to your worries you are giving your energy into movement so shift the energy it's a big turning point for life for you for some of you you are gonna start exploring new places i i see here as your future self is telling you for the next two years because speaking of your future in two years you are gonna visit so many places that you did not visit in 20 years whatever here you do it's this is huge and i feel here in the beginning will be a lot of worries what if i will not be on time or what if i I will fail in this, but then you'll realize like, why did I even wait for so long to do this? I feel here it's a peace of mind finding in. As the Spirit says, you, you are going to find your peace of mind. That meaningful energy that you are looking deep down on, you're going to find. For some of you, you are going to even find through this movement or through these ventures or travels, your true calling even. If you are looking for years, how and what, there's something here that it's kind of from, um, from nothing you are make something. Because for some of you, you, you might even record these things because something here you you make like you you your future self is telling you like from I want to make a change into I make a lifestyle even make out of it an income either you are going to record your trips or little facts from your trips or the steps you wake up till you end up the day there's something here you are going to do and will be constantly. But this is your future beautiful income because the universe is shifting you to have this opportunity and enjoy it. So the exploring is like exploring life, but it's not like staying in one place, but going places. Queen of Pentacles, speak to me. Four of Pentacles. This is also about how you are going to spend your finances. This is how you are invest your money. And even before you might feel like I don't have enough. Now you are going to feel like I have everything what I need. Why sell me here a teeny tiny? For some of you, you might have a tiny home or a tiny environment, but you are going to be much more fulfilled. There's a lot of fulfillment. For some of you, you are going to find new peers, new people on your ways. People you never thought you are going to connect with. 
you know, life sometimes leads you to unexpected energies. Eight of Cups. And also, for some of you, it's kind of will open up a new perspective of life. For those of you who, who felt very hard into find happiness in little things or get away from negative thoughts, you will start thinking positive. And it's kind of when you are going to look back, it's like a deja vu or flashbacks, you are going to feel like, how I could be possible that person. So you are definitely are going to change into a whole new person. But your spirit, your intuition is telling you you've been this person all the time. However, a lot of us coming on this earthly life lose that insight. And we need to connect again. So for some of you, you are going to reconnect with yourself, with your inner self. And that's that's all this purpose of change. So, Cancerians, over this period of time, your future self is telling you was necessary for you to bring yourself back, to reconnect with yourself. And everybody is going to do it differently. Some of them will be just hiking. Others will start running. Others to just go and visit new places. But it seems here there's um, a time in your life that will be very, very active. Now, your future guides. I know some somebody asked about uh, how... How come we have guides? We have future guides. Yes, we always have two guides around us. But also with the time for the needs we need in time, your guides call in our other guides to help you with certain matters. So let's see. Two of Swords. Your future guides are telling you to... Open up for the possibilities. Open up for new experiences. We have two of wands, two of swords, two of pentacles. Two of cups is the one missing. Open up for the new connections, new experiences. Allow yourself to enjoy into these new energies. For some of you, especially those Cancerians who close their heart, you might be overly into your mind or telling yourself you don't need this or you need this. Connect more with your heart. And whatever here was is to be left behind for you to enjoy the new life. For you to be more confident in your own skin, on your own self. Wow. Wow. For some of you, this is about your confidence back, taking your power back, taking your life back. And definitely speaking about the renewal. Complete, complete renewal. Your future self, there's a cancer in here that your future self is telling you. Reawaken your confidence your motivation and your creativity. There's a creative project that will bring you so much satisfaction. You have no idea just now. Also, your future self is telling you that period you struggle or you have a hard time to let it go, you will. We have the Nine of Cups here. Nine of Wands, Swords, and the Pentacles. So this time, it's over. And you will overcome it amazingly. Don't even doubt, loves. And that being said, Cancerians, I thank you so much for stopping by. And of course, we are going to see you later on. Bye for now. <laughs>